Commuting by bike is cheap and it's also healthy. Plus it can be fast and it can be fun as well. Now you can do it on any old bike. Yeah, that's, that's right, any old bike. But what everybody needs is a really good set of lights so that you can be both seen and seen. Yeah, so here is what we think that you should use to ride to and from work, especially as the light fades. For most of us, I suspect that the majority of our commuting time is going to be spent in urban areas. So effectively, we've got a few short rides where maybe we even stop on the way home and lock our bikes up outside the pub for a sneaky half. Yeah, so for instances like that, like a bright row of LEDs is going to be the perfect tool for the job. Now these are cat eye rapid X's and they're very, very easy to take on and off your bike. So you don't need to leave them on when it's locked up. And they also leave absolutely no trace on your bike whatsoever. But in addition to a simple mount, I really, really value the side visibility that these rows of LEDs offer. So when you're coming up to a T-junction, for example, or a roundabout, it's this kind of side visibility that you rely on fundamentally to be seen by other road users. Yeah, and something which I always look out for in lights is that it's USB chargeable. It's just something that I personally find a really handy feature. Because basically what it means is that I can get to work, easily whip these things off and charge them up during the day, ready for my ride home, and then back in the next day. Now, the brightness of lights is measured in lumens, and many people use that as a way of choosing their front lights, and we'll touch on that more a little bit later on. But not many people use it as a way of making a decision about rear lights, but they really should do. Yeah, they should, because whilst any old light will normally show up to some degree when it's pitch black outside, you need a really bright light to show up when it's perhaps low light or even during daylight hours. Now, 100 lumens, is really, really bright. Something like that is going to show up even when it's pretty bright outside already. In our opinion, this is something that you really shouldn't skimp on at all because whilst generally some light is better than no light at all, some really don't seem worth bothering with. So if these lights are the minimum that you need then for cruising around town, it has to be said that you will quickly find their limitations if you actually need to illuminate your path and see where you're going. Yeah, these ones are very much in the safety category of lighting. But as Sai said, if you need a light which actually shows you where you're going, you're going to need one that's much brighter and also much more direct as well. But you should look out for some similar things. So for example, the fact that it should be USB rechargeable and that the mount should be very easy to put on and take off. And when it comes to those all important lumens, we think that 400 is a minimum for being able to see where you're going on dark roads. And crucially as well, you also find that you won't blind oncoming traffic, either cars or indeed bikes. And if you have a brighter light, you will have to adjust the beam accordingly. For those of us who have slightly longer commutes that perhaps take us into the countryside or maybe just down some dark unlit roads, you're going to want even more punch up front. Now this is particularly relevant when you're going fast. And by that I don't just mean those lycra clad enthusiasts who want to get some extra training and intervals done on their way home. I'm not looking just at you here, Si. But anyone who's got some fast sections, i.e. downhills, on their regular commute. Yeah, so more lumens means more light, so be able to see more detail on the road further ahead of you, giving you more time to react to what's coming up. Now, when you start looking into it, actually having more power to your light doesn't necessarily carry that much of a weight penalty. So in this case, you can double the brightness of your light by only adding 20 grams. And that 20 grams, as well as giving you a brighter light, also gives you much longer burn time. Mm. And as we also mentioned earlier, you should consider other road users, not blind them with your super bright light. Now, there's nothing worse than that temporary blindness that you get when somebody comes at you down a cycle path, for example, with a bright light that's so bright, it looks like it should be suited more for a stadium illumination than a commute. And we found this particularly relevant on those narrow cycle paths. Now, you should do it out of consideration, but beware, some countries, this is also a legal issue. 
So then, choosing lights for your commuting needs is actually quite straightforward. And it's quite affordable too, compared to some of the cycling accessories. You basically need to be wise and choose some lights with great visibility and also pay particular attention to how well you can see them from the side. Yeah, and then when you need to see where you're going, remember 400 lumens opens up some great opportunities. But if you start to get faster on darker roads or indeed more treacherous ones, then you might want to think about increasing that brightness. Now, you don't have to use it all the time, but it is good to have in reserve to get you out of trouble. Yeah, before we finish, one final quite sobering thought, and that is that failing to use lights in some countries in the eyes of the law can see you completely liable for any accident, even if it's happening what can be termed as daylight conditions. Now, as twisted as this might sound, according to the Velo News legal correspondent Bob Mjonske, legal precedents have already been set. So it is worth covering your ass that you don't get hit by a lawsuit as well as a car. Yeah, that really is worth bearing in mind. Now, if you want to see some more videos about riding in the dark, we've got a very interesting one. You can get through to it just up there where we compare different brightnesses of lights and different reflective clothing. And also, if you want to see a video about commuting, then we've got some great tips just down there. Yeah, and I would also advise you to subscribe to GCN. There won't be any lawsuits coming your way, but it's just great fun. And we've got loads of videos on all topics to do with road cycling. It's free. All we've got to do is click anywhere on this window around myself and sign. That's it's not appealing. around it, but in it. That is quite appealing. Can't miss, Dan. This up like a Christmas tree.